What's up, gay straights and other days? It's Malia back with another episode of Disco Elysium. Last we left off, we finally took care of that fucking body and got a bunch of other stuff done too. How and as the other, we lay down and fucking try to go to sleep, and Harry's just like, nah, nah, dreamy is now time to be wakey time. So I think we're dreaming. It says dreamscape whenever we get the, the, the save. So uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm starting off stuttering. This is off to a fantastic start. Where am I meant to be going? Hello? Oh. Oh, what the? That's me. I in my green blazer. And there's a disco ball? Hello? Do you remember the scent of your childhood? I remember nothing, no. I was born in a hospital where people usually go to die. You're not kidding anyone, Harry. You don't remember shit. Tell me, do you remember your wife's hand on your face? Tell me what this is. I'm not answering before you tell me who you are because, like, I don't know if I was left or I was the one that left because in that letter she seemed so in love with us, but things can change because I have no idea how long ago that was. But tell me. You know who I am. I'm the bad day. The one where you ask her and then later in the streets, wandering. It's the worst day of all time, Harry dear. And it's coming. She will hear about it on the phone. Wait, what? Reality will turn into a grotesque nightmare. This will be the last thing you did to her. Tell me, do you remember the love of your life? You said who? Do you remember the warmth of her thighs, between her legs and in her mouth? I don't know. Maybe I left because that letter just... I don't know, I can't let that letter go. Oh no, funky baby, you stayed. What? It was the rest of it that left. Or you just stood there, with one hand on the bottle and the other on your dick, watching it go. Tell me, where are your friends? Human beings have friends, Harry boy. Where the hell are yours? I don't want to come back. I don't think there's anything good in chasing ghosts. <laughs> Despite me really wanting answers about my ex-wife, but that's different. They were only cramping your descent into the abyss. Now they're gone. Three times gone and never coming back. All of it. You failed. You failed me. You failed Elysium. What is Elysium? Everything. The pile and the easelers. On the surface. The outer magnetosphere. Burning furious truth. Eight thousand years of written history. You really dropped the ball, Harry. 4.6 billion people. And you failed every single one of them. You really fucked up. I've talked to you before. Haven't I, even at the crime scene from the beginning? No, Harry. You were just talking to yourself. That's all you ever do, even in your dreams. And the act is wearing thin. The spots of the disco ball fade around you. You'll be back in those cold snakeskins in no time, sweating up the bed. Stinky boy. I can come back from this. You're not coming back from shit, thrashing around in that. High conductivity state of yours. Bumping into things and acting like a clown. Who are you kidding? I'm trying to solve... Trying to solve this case because that's what we've been doing from the beginning, isn't it? You're trying to what? I can't hear you. This is just a word dream now. Jumbled up garbage. The pictures are gone. The bed rises to meet you. A thin, sleep-like state. More glass than velvet. 
grinding in your head. So something is wrong. Sleep shouldn't be this bad, this dry, this unnourishing. There's something wrong with your thoughts. Some kind of new type of hangover. I think that's just the pain of the past, but god, there's another type? Oh yes, party boy. And it's worse than the one before. Just think of the shit you saw. Here it comes too. So soon already. A silent alarm goes off in your head. Like clockwork. Barely let you sleep at all. Time to get those clothes on, Harry. No, I don't have my answers. Time to go to work in the shit factory. I'm not ready. I haven't... What the fuck? Jesus, punching me right in the gut from the fucking beginning. Okay, I guess I healed a little bit. Well, at least I don't have to dress myself this morning. Hey, Harry. Come on, up we get. Hi, everyone. We've started with emotional distress. Do I have a thought? Good going, buddy. The hell was that? No, it wasn't beautiful. That was fucking terrifying. What was that? Oh, just a dream. You have ones like that all the time. You feel even worse this morning than you did last night. God, I'm depressed. Okay, what else is new? What the hell is going on with me? You mean, why are you so tired? Too tired and down to even think? It is worrying, isn't it? You can't be a detective like this. Detectives need to be able to think. Okay, there's no point in fucking denying it. Why is this happening? It's just that your heart has finally pumped all the speed out of your system, Buster. Time to get some more. Oh. No. We're not fucking getting drugs. Come on. You're too weak to say no now. Waking up is the worst part. Maybe somewhere down the line you could decline. Yeah, no, 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 no. I know what speed is. No, I can take this. I'm not going to go looking for speed. Thank you. Harry's already pretty fucked up. We're not making him worse. Are you sure? Ready to live as this pathetic shell of yourself for days? Basically, a week. Let's be honest. Two weeks. Maybe three. You won't make it. Half the town will be dead by then. You will be fired. No, if the game's giving me a chance to step back and stop this, I'm stopping it. That's a lie. I can do this without the speed. Half the town won't be dead. Suit yourself, slow, sad shell man. Uh, shut up, See electrochemistry. See how you do without your spark. I will be fine. All right, so a uh, peer pressure from my brain to add to emotional distress. We're doing so well today. So a lot of this is the same as before. We have to see about doing Joyce a favor, which I think I might know what that is now because I did have to go back and edit a few episodes, obviously. Maybe getting her in to see Everart now that we can access that area now. Assuming she can make the jump, but she should be fine. What? The hell, I just came downstairs and there are people here. This place looks a lot more lively than when I last checked. He hello, I'm selecting you. Uh, good morning, your voice acting didn't go through. I've got some good news. Oh, there it is. I took care of the body. Oh, yay. The thought of him decomposing in my MC wouldn't let me sleep. Good, that would have been fucking gross. I don't know if I was ready to let him- No! Harry, hey, stop it. Dream's over. Good, thanks. I'm just glad he's gone. We have other matters to attend to. Yeah, after it took me 50 million years to attend to that one. The lieutenant is downplaying his contribution. He got up before sunrise to get this done. Jesus. And now, he's quite pleased with himself for taking care of the gruesome business so efficiently. As he should be. Dang, Kim, thanks. The Union Master finally turned up, and they look rowdy. We need to talk to them. What do you mean, rowdy? Because I feel like we're going to have to talk to them for obvious reasons, but what do you mean by that? I mean, ungovernable. Martinez isn't exactly enthusiastic about the RCA being here. They prefer to be policed by the Union. These men here. I guess that makes sense. Men who drink beer for breakfast? Ugh. There's talk of an armed wing of the Union called the Hardy Boys, who are responsible for said policing. I think it's them. I mean, as much as I want to call in reinforcements... Well, it's worth a shot. Maybe we should, because uh, I'm sorry, we don't look like any sort of threat. That would just escalate tensions. No captain would sign off on it. 
Solving one murder isn't worth a conflict between the RCM and the Debarders Union. Okay, you know what, fair enough. In fact, even the death of two detectives might not warrant an all-out war. So let's keep a cool head, okay? Jeez, your faith in us is overwhelming. I just said we wouldn't stand a chance. You just think we're gonna fucking die. die. Okay, let's roll. One God, Kim. We do. What? We don't have to talk to them immediately. We can walk right past them. Continue with our business. You know what? I think we'll do that. I think we'll handle all of the other shit that we were meant to do before that we didn't get to yesterday, and then we'll talk to them. I have a feeling we might want to leave with them for last. Yeah, streetwise. Zoom right past. Do it on your own terms. Thank you, reaction speed. But aren't you curious to know what they have to say about the murder? I don't think they're going anywhere, Logic. They're in no hurry to leave. They think they own the place. See? Anyway, I leave that choice to you. Whatever you decide is fine by me. Listen, I'm a dumbass. We're trusting Kim. And keep an eye out for Tear, because I'm broke again. You pull the lever all the way up until the metal clicks against the contact pins. You hear a soft clunk. Then, nothing happens. <laughs> okay, pushing it harder will probably break it. We'll leave it alone. The spring brings the lever back to its original position. You still need to close the water lock to get across the canal some other way. That's why I can't go further down the coast, because the water lock hasn't been repaired yet. Okay. Wasn't there a sign over there saying functionality will be restored on Wednesday morning? What day is it today? Yeah, today is Tuesday. So tomorrow. Since we're here, we'll run the armor plates, since we're already at Kim's car anyway. Hey, Alice, could you run a serial number from a pair of armored boots for me? Serial What's the number? And the make of the armor, if you know it. Uh, E50, 100, 1000. Uh, it's probably not the way you're supposed to read it, but I'm lazy. The make and model of the armor is Fairweather T500VE. Got it. I'll contact the ICP database immediately. Call back tomorrow. Hopefully they'll have dug up something useful by then. I'm gonna forget, so I'm gonna write that down. Okay, so we ran the number. We're done with this from now because it's not tomorrow yet, but cool. 57, over and out. Hey, shut up, shut up, shut up. I know the car. I know. You can stop monologuing at me now. We gotta figure out a way down to Joyce somehow because I've already forgotten... How the fuck we get to her? You know what? I'll do the manana stuff first, just in case, because I don't want to ruin things with Everett because Everett does have my stuff, and unfortunately that is blackmail. So let's handle this now. So, how'd you like a harbor? Uh, it's nice. How did you know that I got all the way up there? You've been in there, he means. Talked to the boss man too, probably. Okay, we're gonna play nice, because I like manana. Manana hasn't given me a reason to be pissed. Labor Utopia. Yeah. It's but a rest area on the path leading across open plains. He notes solemnly, then turns to you, a wide smile adorning his face. Should I be worried about that? I don't know. Right. You talk to the boss, eye to eye, like men of the plain. If you have any more questions, I'm set to talk. Okay, there's a couple of things. Apparently one with Kuno. And we can ask about the hangman. Let's start with the hangman and work backwards. The mercenary, eh? Who could have killed him? That's indeed the question. Why even do such a thing? Yeah, but the Merc was hanged with a very specific type of cargo belt. When often used in heavy transport areas, for example, harbors? Are we really accusing Manana here? I mean, at this point, maybe, but I don't know. What a thought. Why would noble workers resort to such a thing? Unless they were pushed, of course. You saying you did it? Pushed how? You're a dead guy was an enemy combatant. Okay, we're not gonna start with that. We're not stupid. We're not that stupid. Hold up, what does that mean? He was an agent of the opposition, attempting to undermine our honorable efforts. Well, I don't have a choice here. Did you kill him? I ain't the murdering type, but that's just me. Large organizations like our union have all sorts of men, with all sorts of skills. I'm inclined to believe him, but that doesn't mean he didn't help. He's not lying about not doing it himself. Yeah, exactly. Good thing Drama and I are on the same page. Understood. This has been of limited use. <laughs> Still, thank you. Kim, come on. You're not even up here. You're fucking chilling down there. Kuno told me you were supposed to know about the armor. Do you even know the kid's name? Is this even going to ring a fucking bell for you? <laughs> the little boy had the good on his promise. Huh? To get me into trouble. Oh. To sit the pigs on me. Pardon the choice of words. Not mine. No, I fucking know. I'm way too familiar with Kuno's word choice in general. What happened? I was asked to look into that armor situation. Official union probe, you know. 
track it down, see who took it. Did you? At first I thought, why not? Maybe the pieces can feed the strike. Buy us a few more days under the sun, you know? But you didn't. So I went to this boy. He said he'll make me his prison bitch. He's got eyes everywhere, the cops in his pocket, and he's the king of Jamrock. And you believe that bullshit? Serves me right for doing menial footwork. I dropped that probe right then and there, and it still got me into trouble. What? One bad move is all it takes. So Kuna used this to what? Scare you? Actually, I don't care about that. The probe into the armor, what did you learn? I learned that people don't want to talk to a drunk union man about some armor. Well, are you fucking drunk or what? Because I don't think I'm a union man. What is? Not much. Technical stuff, mostly. That was the interesting part. Hey, what sort of technical stuff? I did some research into this armadura. Let's say I have friends at the library. Hmm. I didn't get into the material science, just how it comes off. How does it come off? In parts. Four in total. The helmet was the first to go. The kid says he tore it off and kicked it into the sea. I believe him. The boots were still on the guy last I saw. Too hard to remove. Yeah, we know that, because we tried. <laughs> so, as I count, there are two parts missing. The gauntlets and the cuirass. This is where I left off. Too much hassle. More like a job for some militia. Four pieces of armor up for grabs, then. But I already sent the boots away. I guess you won't be collecting them all, then. That's less work for you, at least. What is this, Pokemon? Hold up. Four pieces, helmet, cuirass, gauntlets, boots. What about the leggings? Oh, they're just gone. They don't exist anymore, if they ever did at all. Forget about them. I did. I'm gonna find one piece of it. One is enough. I don't know how well we can hold up on that, but I'm gonna try. Nice and balanced. Some junior officers can take care of the rest. Smart choice. It's only that one spot you need armor to. The one the bullet hits. So... But I forget what this is called, the chest area, I guess? Chest plate, something like that? I, I guess. I don't know. Well, we may have taken on something impossible, but it's there now. Good luck if you go for those boots, though. You'd have an easier time resting the spurs off a of boyadero than getting them off him. So Kuna used us to what? Scare you? It's a minor nuisance. It's all good. <laughs> okay, good. Thank you for the cooperation. Now I guess we move on to the key? No problem. If you see that kid, thank him from Call Me Manana. Thank him for showing me the way. The way to what? Bullshit? I'm not thanking Kuno for shit. I'm sorry, mate, but no. Anyway, Everart said you had a key to a door. A key, huh? What door is this key supposed to open? Uh, he said it belonged to a weasel. His words, not mine, mate. I personally can't stand the guy. I don't know how you feel about him. Oh, say no more. I got you. He tops the side of his nose with a little wink. Hmm. I got that key right here. And let me tell you, it's mighty good of you to help us out during the strike. Working class solidarity, as they say. I guess. What apartment? Where? You didn't tell me where. You, you, the label said it was the basement. Who's, Who's basement? basement? Let's fucking side with the working class. Why not? We'll pretend we're noble. I'm not opening this door for myself. I'm opening it for all the working men. Viva la revolution, or whatever the fuck you say, Elise. I knew this man was a commie. And it's a good thing you're doing, too. Thanks. I just want fucking decent working conditions and decent pay. Why does that make me a commie? What you're looking for is a basement door behind oh, the greenhouse. That's I know behind that the whirling and rags. That's all I know. Our organization is what you call compartmentalized. Means we keep out of each other's business. Yeah, I, I got that vibe. Uh, sure. Okay, but where did you get the key from? Kim, I don't think he's gonna tell us. The janitor gave it to me. Oh. Nice fella. That he was easy. about life and things that really, truly matter. None of this mess we're in. This jiving and juggling. What's it for? To feed our children, I guess. Yeah, well, we all have to do some shit for corrupt people to get money, apparently. Anything else I should know about this task? This weasel person? When he'll be home? <laughs> I'm more of a philosophical dog worker. Ugh. I like to talk about the big picture stuff. Who I am, who you are, what we are fighting for. I don't want to be there when he's home! Manana, please! He means he's not going to tell you because he doesn't know. But he will shoot his mouth off with you now that you're working for Everhart. 
Okay, I don't like the connotations of that, but fine. Good talking to you. Gotta run. Okay, now that we've got that sorted, and now that we know we can't deal with the waterlock until Wednesday, that kind of wipes out any down-the-coast tasks. But we still need to talk to Joyce. I refuse to fuck with the goddamn weasel thing until we handle things with Joyce first. Hey, Joyce, I think I have your favor. I know how to get up to fucking Everart now. Also, I see bottles. I'm very poor. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Let's start with the photos and do Everart last, because I feel like Everart's going to move stuff along. Do you know something about these tattoos? Referring to um, the corpses photo that we took. That's the man who was killed. Yes. I'm afraid this is a discussion for once we've cleared the lynching question. Ah! Uh, how is you looking at the photo tied to the lynching? You know I'm a police officer. Look at my sick coat, Joyce. God damn it. Fine, I've talked to Everart. You have? And how did you like Mr. Clare? He's a beautiful man. Beautiful and just. You're just a piece of shit. He's not the chosen. <laughs> he's not Sorry. He's not the champion I've chosen. I wish to swear fealty to No. <laughs> We're not swearing ourselves to anything. It's not important if I liked him. I was doing my job. No. No. We're going to be honest. I did not like him. Oh, come on now. He has his uses. How else would he have stayed in power all these years? Or wait, actually. Yeah, huh? Corruption. That's how he's done it. Fantastic, verm like corruption. Reaching into the bowels of the earth. Yeah, that that's exactly a good way to describe him. I would also have settled for a job of the hut, but same thing. The position of my unusual colleague does not reflect official policy. Why am I so I unusual? The RCM does not pick sides. Yes, it fucking does. Well, I do. And I'm the face of the RCM. Kim, come on. Of course. And I don't expect you to share anything he told you with me. I'm not a corrupt verm myself. I do not care. However, if you felt like discussing something... Oh, now you want to talk. I don't have a fucking badge in sight. Does this count as your favor? Because I can get you to him. How could I stop you? Are we not human? Are we not curious to hear another person's take? It's only natural. We would only be gossiping. Okay, can we gossip about the lynching then, since you're so open-minded? Intellectually speaking, it would be quite interesting to hear what she has to say about these things. You know what? Fine, we're in this far. She won't talk about the lynching, but maybe we can talk about my gun. Mr. Everard is helping me find my gun. Oh. That's so helpful of him. Yeah, I know. The lieutenant looks at you, and you can swear his jaw muscle is trembling. Calm down, Kim. It's fine. He's able to contain the anger and surprise. <laughs> Why? Why? What's wrong? It's fine. We're fucking getting on our good side, sort of, I think. I don't know. Unconventional police officers sometimes lose their guns. They then go around and tell people about this to gauge their reactions. It's all part of detecting. Oops. <laughs> Kim, it's fine. You have a gun. Incredible. Simply incredible. And how is it going? Has this detecting produced a gun? No. Well, maybe he's not as helpful as you thought then. Is there anything else? No, I'd rather talk about something else for now if you don't mind. I think Kim's gonna fucking kick me. <laughs> Of course, detective. Should something come up later down the road, don't be afraid to drop by for a chat. Okay, that yielded fuck all. Oh, what is there left to do? What is there to do? I don't know what the fuck her favor would be. God, okay. Oh, I can confront Kuno. That's gonna go well. Sure, since my main thing I was gonna do today, which was getting Joyce's favor done, did it fucking work. I guess we're gonna go confront Kuno. I have a pathway to get you to Everard so you can talk to him yourself. But no, apparently that doesn't fucking count. I'm mad about it. Also, I see fucking lady in the first fucking bit of the game still up there and I can't talk to her. What is this bullshit? Hello, I know you can see me. You have a great view from up there. Give, Give me, me attention. attention. Yeah, I talked to Manana about the armor. So? Yeah, he told me you promised to uh, sick the pigs on him. Yeah, so? Kuno did sick the pigs on him? Kuno's a man of his weird? Yeah, we didn't do shit, Kuno. Kuno sent your fat ass running around like jello! 
First of all, we had to talk to him anyway because of Everard, not you. Second of all, shut the fuck up. Look, pig. Kuno sent you to rough some people up. Kuno played you. That happened. Now you and Kuno should move on. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna pull a telltale here. I will remember this, Kuno. You got fucked. You got fucked, pig. Fucked bad. Of course you're gonna remember this. Now get the fuck out of here. Grief in the Kuno. Oh my god, I don't know why I came back here. Fucking completionist, this is not worth it. What's this? Wait, hold on. How did I not know this this before? Was this always open? Am I just dumb? Ooh, we're on the same side as Kuness now. I kind of want to get a little bit of revenge. We're on the same side of the fence, motherfucker! What you gonna do now, you huh? trying to sneak up on me? Come to slit my throat in my sleep. That's not as satisfying as doing it when you're conscious, you little shit. Apparently, she doesn't like people standing behind her back. Well, suffer. I don't like hearing your feckin' voice. Logic error. She's not sleeping right now. Huh. <laughs> Pig's come to take me out. Trying to snuff me out. Are you sleeping right now? Don't get fucking clever with me, Pig. You think you're so clever. Uh huh. Uh huh. Sucks. What is this? There must be another way to the Ah! God damn it, Kim! What happened to your voice? Hello? It's been a week. Legs? You see a young man on a balcony nursing a cigarette. His eyes have been following you for a while. Hello. I like your shirt. Um. Why have you been watching me? Not looking for any trouble, officer. Okay. It's cold, but you're being edgy. I guess I respect that. Why are you watching me? It's the voice of someone who has something to hide, my liege. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I do you gotta call me that? Uh, no trouble for me, I just wanna know what the fuck's going on here and why you're watching me. I don't wanna be seen talking to the gendarmerie if that's okay. I just wanna finish my cigarette. <sighs> okay, that's fair enough, but you called attention to yourself. Don't let him go. This could be your witness. The balcony has a great view of the whole thing. You know what? Yeah. Actually, the... assumably French word really needs to talk to you. Is it really that important? Uh, yes, it's literally murder. Like a nervous cat, he keeps stealing looks at the neighboring windows. You may have a cool shirt, but you can't fool me. You know something. All right, but make it quick. Once I finish this cigarette, I have to run. Okay, I don't give a shit about your name. Looks like you've got a good view of the Whirling's backyard. Can you tell me anything about the hanging? I can tell that you finally got him down. Thank you. It was quite a disturbing sight, even by Martinet's standards. Yeah, thanks, smartass. Not what I meant. What were you doing last Sunday? Yeah, Kim's better at this than I am. Oh. You already asked me that, didn't you? We haven't met until today. What do you mean? Wait. Is someone else investigating the lynching? Well, Kim asked, so d did you? No, not you two. Some more muscular type. Okay, thanks, dickhead, but also, I guess, correct. And when did you speak to this more muscular gentleman? Huh. Last week? I don't know. Look. Who looks around the courtyard again? Old patio chairs and dead house plants litter the scene. He's an actor, declaiming a soliloquy. See how you hang on his every word. Okay, as an actor, yes, that vanity is pervasive as hell, but not important, drama. Come on, sit down for a second. You didn't answer the question. What were you doing last Sunday? <sighs> I had a friend over. Yeah, okay, that's not illegal. What kind of friend? It was my Sunday friend. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? You have a different friend for every day of the week? What's your friend's real name? Did he see something? They're not like fucking days of the week underwear. What do you mean Sunday friend? He doesn't reply, gesturing no with his cigarette. In the neighboring windows, you can see faint reflections of his silhouette, all from different <laughs> angles. What's your name? My name? My name is Martin Martinez. No, it's not. You're so full of shit. No, it's not. Come on. That's definitely not his real name. Yeah, even I clocked that. You're not actually called Martin Martinez, are you? No, of course not. Could you please lower your voice? Okay, I get that everyone is watching us, but... You know what, actually, that's fair. Alright, we'll talk later. I...
guess if I fucking remember. No. We won't. All right, drama queen. Hey, drama, I think I found your new best friend. Why don't you fucking hang out with him and leave me alone? Now, if you'll excuse me, I really need to get going. I guess we'll let him go. Good luck with the investigation. I have a task now with you. Okay, just dramatically walk away. Cool. You rehearsed that, didn't you? Fucking drama queen. Okay. He's gone. Yeah, I, <laughs> I saw that, Kim. We should run after him, see where he went. No point in running. Tenements like these often have multiple exits. If he doesn't want to talk to us, then he'll know how to hide himself. So we just give up? Because I don't think we should, considering it's a task now. He could be a witness. Him or his Sunday friend. <laughs> Either way, we need to look into that muscular type who's asking about our case. Okay, sure. Fucking Sunday friend. This is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. There has to be a way of getting inside the building. Let's go check out the door near the pier again. Once we found the way in, we can ask around for his apartment. I don't know where that door is, I don't think, but I'm going to write it down anyway, because I will forget. But now that I figure out the way back here, I'm going to poke around. Okay, let's this go down here. This must be it. The basement yeah. door is weather-worn. The copper nails holding the upholstery in place have turned green from sea air, and there's a knocker shaped like a lion's head. Ah, oh, badass. Well, I just want to make... I'd rather do this when nobody's home. So, we'll listen first and then we'll knock. The leather upholstery is worn and rough against your jaw. Ew. You don't hear any movement. In fact, it's oddly silent in the yard around you. No birds chirp. I am definitely being watched right now. I guess we'll knock. You knock silently. The upholstery muffles the sound. No response comes from the apartment. I don't know why I thought that would work. I guess no one is in. Oh, uh, Lieutenant, what is your opinion of this task we're undertaking? Let's be honest. This isn't what I joined the RCM for, but every day tells you something new about yourself. Yeah, and unfortunately we need Everett to cooperate. Apparently, working with the local union boss to get info on an investigation is not something I'm squeamish about. So you don't mind if I unlock the door? I mind that the local thug is using the RCM for his busy work. But if this gets us to the bottom of this hanging, then I'm willing to look over it. Yeah, you're definitely an ends justify the means sort of guy. Okay. On the other hand, we could just leave and tell Evrat we opened the door. No one seems to be tailing us to see if we actually did it. That's what one of the voices in my head must be talking about. Lie to Evrat, that's also an option? Yes. Presenting a fabrication is known to get results here and there. You took this task. You make the call. This is a hard-ass fucking choice. The door is right here. You can just open it and be done with this. I like the idea of double-crossing, though. I'm gonna save, talk to Everard, and if I don't like the outcome, I'm just gonna reload the save again, because my let's play and I can do what I want. So let's hope he's as stupid as he looks. Mr. Dubois, a pleasure as always. You don't have to sit down this time, since you've already sat on that chair. Thanks, it really hurt my ass. I'm gonna put off the lying though. Uh, what's in the container that's outside your office? You know, the one I just dumped down? My dear Harry, there are literally millions of containers in this harbor. I couldn't possibly remember what's in all of them. I smell bullshit. There's something special about it. It was attached to the Kvalsund crane. Harry, you smooth-talking son of a bitch. What? Time is a precious resource, and I don't have enough of it to count containers with you. That was the weirdest compliment I've ever heard ever, but I think it was also an insult, huh? Smooth talking. Maybe that's the way to go about opening the container. You can't you be serious. At least try convincing it. Rhetoric! Rhetoric, please! Fine, we're lying. I opened the door to your weasel's den. Are you shitting me, Harry? Did you not really open the door and are now just telling me you did? You're a wild one, Harry. Go uh, fuck you. Uh, let's see. I failed to hide my panic, but I did take the key. I can always load a save. This is pretty even. Good. Now Ooh. take it a bit further. Take it home. Ooh. Ooh, we got it. Yes. Okay. Thank you, drama. And not only did I open it, I went inside, too. It was a real weasel's den, Everard. I bet it was, Harry. But seriously, what did you see in his apartment? Um... Harry, you lied a little too much there. A guy 
who has antagonized the Union in a Union-run town. Maybe it's political. Maybe the gesture will help. We'll shake our head. Fascist insignia everywhere. Memorabilia calling for the return to the Golden Age. That's exactly what I thought, Harry. Uh, What's a weasel? And for the record, I was only curious, not testing you. Okay. We got it, I think. We passed the check. We should be fine. He was testing you. You succeeded. Thanks, drama. Thank you, Harry. You have shown me that the Bardeur's Union and the Citizens' Militia can indeed work together. Now... Let's cut down to brass tacks. I don't like to cut you out of your fucking brass tacks and fucking send you down the harbor, but, you know, can't do that. Anyway, murderous urges aside. It's time for men like me and you to figure out who's killed who and why. Real police work is going to start happening now. I promise you, Harry, this is going to be good. I don't believe a word you fucking said. I'm so happy we got to double cross you and succeeded, though. You said the lynching and the strike are related. How? Even though I feel like this has been explained to us before. By now, I'm sure you've figured out who the dead man was working for. The bad guys. Wild pines. Sent to scare us. Another violent measure of the top hats against us flat caps. What do you mean? And isn't that Joyce's company? Harry, this strike is the culmination of many, many mistakes made by the Wild Pines group. They tried to shut the strike down by sending in armed mercenaries. You mean our victim? Yes. Yeah, yeah, because the victim was a merc. That's right. Yes, Kim. A security contractor? Can you imagine that? Workers standing in peaceful protest, united in the spirit of fellowship, and they send hired killers to mow us down with machine gun fire. Performs a motion as if spraying bullets from a machine gun. I'm talking beasts. Hardened killers from proxy wars in Yisut, Seminine, Sadamaritsa, you name it, they've done it. Raping, killing, burning villages, killing little children for the Senorita Pineapple Company, Harry. C okay, kill the fucking riddles. What company? Everything they did there, they brought over here. They want to turn Revachol into a third world slum. Honestly, the only thing they didn't do is kill the village elephant. Hold on. I feel like this is a metaphor, but I'll ask anyway. You have a village elephant? No, Harry. The elephant is metaphorical, and so is the village. But the mercs and their brutality are very real. Yeah, I figure that was the case, but I wanted to make sure. Go on, I guess. Now, I haven't personally witnessed the brutalities out there. I have the luxury of staying in my container, you see. If I need to go somewhere, they just move my container. That's right. I didn't clock that before because I didn't really think about it because this place is really nicely furnished, honestly. But you literally live in a fucking container. But they move the container? Probably with the crane. Yes. I'm an old man, Harry. My legs aren't what they used to be. They lift my office with that big crane. It's actually very fun. You should try it. I'm sure I will if I ever get the chance. But enough about me and my fun container. The killers Don't the company hired, that. I think there were three of them, all hardened commando types. Okay. One of them got downright suicidal, getting drunk, violent, a little rapey. Even their own negotiator couldn't control him. That's your boy, the one who likes hanging out and trees. I mean, don't really love the fucking terminology, and I'll probably have to trigger warning this, but... Ugh. By negotiator, you mean Joyce? Wait, what? Oh. That's right. Harry, what you need to realize is... We dock workers are not pushovers. Stop fucking ignoring Kim. He asked you a question. We got grit, Harry. This whole neighborhood does. Push us hard enough and we push back. And when we do, we push to kill. That's not reassuring. Wait, the whole neighborhood is in on it? Potentially, Harry. Potentially. We got arm wrestling champions, rowing club people, ex-coal miners, tough guys, all ready to spring into action for their home base. Who exactly did the pushing? There's a militant wing inside the Union. A group of people whose duties don't involve manual labor, but peacekeeping in the neighborhood, making sure everything runs smoothly. By what, threats of violence? That sounds a bit like organized crime. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Thanks, Logic. They are like you guys. Idealistic people who want to make sure bad things don't happen. And if they already have, well, Punishment must follow. Again, that sounds like organized crime. 
That's because it is logic. So these idealists killed our victim? Hmm. One day Titus Hardy, leader of this peacekeeping again? faction, comes up to me and says, Boss, socialist democratic fervor drove us to take it upon ourselves to kill this beast that was burdening the land. He probably worded it differently, but that was the idea. Sure sounded to me like they killed him. <laughs> I gave them two weeks paid leave and told them to lay low to avoid retaliation. Of course you fucking Aren't did. Aren't you worried we might arrest them for this? Uh, he probably isn't. Oh, I'm not at all worried about that. These are not the kind of men who get arrested. They're Martin A's boys, tough and gritty. I'd like to see the man who takes them in. Besides, I sent my lawyer girl to look after them. He places a lot of faith in that lawyer girl. Perhaps this is a tactical error. Anyway. Okay. Um, you mentioned a lawyer girl? Oh, Liz is a bright one. Hmm? I paid for that law degree myself, thinking it'll probably turn her all fancy. But hell, Harry, she came back a firebrand socialist. Sometimes she scares me with her zeal. I think I've run across her before. Again, I don't remember if I kept it in or not when we were fucking trying to get past Measurehead. I don't remember if that was her, though. Wait. The girl by the whirling, who was keeping an eye on you. Is he talking about her? Wait, what? Hold on, I didn't even clock that. No, I I'm mentioning, well, the less Everart thinks we know, the better. But we'll investigate this on our own time. Oh, and she also really likes gardening, I hear. In March? Strange. Anyway, let's move on. That's ambiguous as hell. I can't tell if he knows we know or not. How do you know the mercenaries were hired by the shipping company? How do I know? Let me tell you about these people. That's their M.O. It's what they do. Last winter, some poor workers in Terminal E went on a little strike. The company sent in Sediment, a security contractor. The strike was over the workers' right to wear protective footwear, Harry. I feel like you're only telling me part of the story. These guys turn up and start beating people. Tell you what, Harry, I wouldn't be surprised if we got the same mercenary company after a little rebranding. And I'm sure as hell not surprised to see an army of scabs under my gates. So you believe the scabs were organized by the security contractor? You said it. Hell, one of those guys looks big enough to take down that proverbial elephant. Boys like that don't just happen to show up during strikes. That does sound quite unlikely, yes. The big guy leading the scabs at the gate is colossal. Tell me about Titus Hardy and his crew. Again, another bit that I cut out because I was just filling information. I'm sorry, I don't know what's important, what's not lately. And it seems like a lot of things are. Um, I talked to um, somebody, I think his name was Leo, hanging out by the boxes who also mentioned Titus and his crew. So tell me more about that. Oh, they are simply fine young men, all seven of them. Exemplary union members, always working to advance their position in the local socialist democratic movement. Core members. Aren't these people potential murderers? Old Theo used to run them, but things really kicked into gear when Titus took the reins and named the group after himself. <laughs> Gotta love his initiative. I guess, was his initiative with a knife any better? Interesting. Who's second in command? They're almost all of them great guys, born leaders. Whatever happened, I'm sure they only had the best interests of Martin A's and Revachol in mind. Don't think I'm missing how you're literally ignoring Kim at every possible turn. Fucking piss off, mate. He asked you a question. Work with them. Hell, interview them. But don't fight them. They really are just like you. Men who like beer, women, and some order on the streets. I mean, I think they're at the whirling, but I guess I'll pretend I don't know that. You know what, Harry? I got a feeling they're going to show up in full force tomorrow. That's not good. The lieutenant marks something in his notebook. Okay, in the future, since we're here, I could use your backing. Can you ask the Hardy Boys to cooperate? But of course. It's the least I can do for my good friend Harry. I'll Don't do it right after we've concluded this talk. Yeah, uh -huh, okay. Also, Harry, here's five real. I'm gonna take it, because that'll put me halfway to paying rent for it tonight, and I need it. The lieutenant watches you pocket the banknote. He looks a little puzzled. Listen, Kim, I'm sorry, but I'm not getting any other income other than fucking picking up cans and bottles on the street. I don't have a choice here. Good boy. A real team player. 
Now, Ugh. do you have any more questions? I'm not your dog. No, we're done. Was it a good tour? I'm no. not sure we made much headway here. I was hoping we'd bust the case wide open. Heck, I even wanted to tell you what I really want to achieve with the strike. Convenient of you to leave that towards the very end. Fucking talk. I don't know what happened, Harry. I wanted you to feel like Mr. Martinez. And what? And of course, I also wanted you to find your gun. But it's like I can't completely trust you. Yet. You want more, don't you? Yet? Yes, Harry. It's like I can't fully trust you if you're not a man of the left. I want to, but I just can't. You're so full of shit. A man of the left. So you have to be a social democrat. I mean, I guess that isn't too bad, but you're such a prat. He's been hurt too much in the past by men who aren't social democrats. I guess we'll do number three, because I need this idiot's support. God, I wish I didn't. Fine. What's that supposed to mean? I'm more left than you are. You're saying it, but I don't believe you. You know how it is, company snitches, agent provocateurs everywhere. I'm barricaded in this fortress of mine, and I need to get a message out. Will you help me? I don't really have a choice. And what would this entail? Yeah, you're gonna answer his question or you're gonna ignore him again. Once again, I require nothing unethical or illegal of you. You just need to get two little signatures on this piece of paper, and then mail it to my accountant in La Delta. What are the signatures for? I'm glad you asked, Harry. The Union is going to build a modern youth center in Martinez. It what will be fuck? righteous. We're gonna get those teenagers off drugs and on roller skates. That sounds like the typical template of building something when in reality you're covering up something else. What's really going on? There's a nameless little street on the coast with some old houses around it. Most people have already signed. I just need two more signatures to get this mission off the ground, Harry. You're fucking kicking the current occupants out to build your shit. What's gonna happen to the current occupants? They are just gonna have to deal with the construction noise for six months, and then they'll be living like kings. Right next to a fancy new youth center designed by the best architects from Stella Marie. Yeah, I believe that. Is he absolutely sure the tenants won't be thrown out in the street? I think he's sure that they are going to be. Are you sure no one's going to end up homeless? Am I? Harry, no. these people, Martinez is the most important thing in my life. I would never let anything bad happen to them. Oh, please. We're going to build a youth center there. The value of their properties goes up and kids have a place to play in. I'm looking out for these people, not pulling the rug from under them, Harry. I'm looking out for all of Martinez, not just the harbor. Okay, where is this place exactly? On the coast, Harry, across the canal. There's a cul-de-sac there, a little village they're calling it. A gloomy place. You'll find it. I trust your detective skills, Harry. So that sounds like, cause I didn't, I don't think I saw a place like that yet. So that looks like it's gonna be another Wednesday thing. So I'm gonna get Kim's opinion because I need to fucking show you that you need to stop ignoring him. It depends. I don't think what we just got from Mr. Claire was very useful. Yeah, that usually happens. As I said, it weighs on me heavily. But once we get really talking, well, I'm gonna hand you the keys to Martin Ains, and maybe even help you figure out who's behind this killing. Why is that the maybe when that's the most important bit? He's saying as little as possible, as vaguely as he can, deliberately omitting things. We need information. Fine, if I happen to be there, I can ask them, but it's gonna have to wait till Wednesday because nothing is open. You bring joy to my heart, Harry. Such a pleasure to be working with you. Here. Gross. You need to get signatures from Isabel Sadie and Lillian Carter. The cul-de-sac is right past the pawn shop and across the canal. I hear there is some trouble with the water lock, but they should fix it by Wednesday morning. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff down past the water lock that we gotta wait till Wednesday morning, including an apothecary that potentially sells healing items that I will need in the future. Okay, so that's gonna be another Wednesday Once thing. Once you have the signatures, mail this to 13022 La Roca in La Delta. Then, I'll know you're a solid socialist. Great. Okay. We're leaving. See you soon, Debardeur. Just Don't call kidding. Me that. But not too much. Great. So glad that we did that. Okay, I gotta write that down too then. I guess let's attempt to persuade the container since we're here. And our rhetoric for that is still very fucking low. Nope. 
not worth it. Okay, I've looked over pretty much all of the other tasks that we've gotten written down so far, and a lot of it is going to have to wait until Wednesday. And as you can see, it's still very early in the day. So it looks like the only thing we can do moving forward is to talk to the Union. How in is the ever? I feel like that's gonna fucking bring on a whole other fucking potential trap. Potential we might get beat up and die. So I'm gonna save that for next time. But we got a decent chunk of work done today and got some new information, but also a whole new slew of fucking questions. And of course, I recall the emotional distress at the beginning. Still fucking unclear about what happened with me and the ex-wife, but... I hope we find answers to that pretty soon, but we'll talk to the Union next time. Hopefully we don't fucking die. But thank you so much, whoever happens to be watching this, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help me out. Until next time. Bye!